but like this is real and i'm really feeling like this and the crazy part is like i don't know how i'm feeling part of me feels like empowered because i'm in a place a foreign place by myself and i'm killing it in the sense where it's like i'm happy but then a part of me feels like a piece of me is missing and i think i felt that void for so long with the person and not even to my to my knowing to my knowledge and so now <sighs> I just washed my face. My eye is so swollen, you guys. I'm not gonna freak out because I know I'm gonna be okay. I have no idea what this is from. Honestly, I'm looking at it like, I know this is like weird, but I'm looking at it like, what's the lesson in this? So what's the growth factor in this? God, please let there be one. I'm not gonna panic, I'm gonna live my life. If it gets worse, then I'll have to do something. But right now, it is what it is. So my eye is still swollen, but I'm going to still do my morning practice. Alright guys, I'm about to hop into my Spanish class. Ocasión de volar. I just finished my workout. Your girl is tired, but I killed it. I did about an hour and 10 minutes. Cardio, weightlifting, I did a little circuit today. My eye is still swollen, but I feel like it's going down a little bit, which makes me happy. I'm tired. Let's just see where the day takes us. I'm letting go and letting God. I just got out the shower, I journaled, I, um, you guys saw me say my prayers, I did a really, really good workout, so, got tons to do, let's get it done. I just realized, I didn't get no plates. Now, I've been with some fruit professionals over the past few years and I've been blessed enough to have them pick out my watermelon but they told me you're supposed to thump it and listen to the density the deeper the sound the sweeter the watermelon hopefully I did it right I'm also tone deaf so that's fun Ooh. not bad not bad Lime just make a hit different. All right, y'all. So we came to the grocery store just to pick up a couple of things. I love it. Look at in the produce section. Everything is in Spanish. I think we're about to go out to dinner. I ate a little bit already, so I'm not that hungry, but. Let's see where it takes me. This first. excited to try it out. Hello. 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 I asked for guacamole Hello. and they just gave me avocado. Okay. Hello. It's the first time for everything. Alright y'all, we about to go walk on the beach. It is so windy. Oh, oh. Oh my god! It is so pretty! Gosh, this is so beautiful! <sighs> Cheers! Uh, Cheers, baby! Cheers! Bling. What the fuck are you doing with these crazy people? <laughs> Is it a bug? Is it a roach? 
Mia. He left. He left. It's 4.58. Tonight was wild. I didn't vlog everything because I didn't want to just keep bringing my camera out. Let me tell you. We go to the first bar. It was alright. It was somebody's birthday. Then from there, my girl that I met at the airport was like, girl, pull up at this club we're at. We go, it's a fucking vibe. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to bed. And we're supposed to go on a party boat tomorrow. I don't know how I'm about to do this party boat, to be honest with y'all. Can I, for real, y'all? I don't know how I'm about to do this party boat. I, this, this was supposed to be my eat, pray, love trip. And thank God my eye swelling went down. You can still see a little bit right here. There's some swelling. Um, apparently, I got a bug bite, like a mosquito or something bit me on my eye, which is so crazy. Anyway, y'all, I'm done rambling. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm tired. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is now the next day. I am recovering. It is, I think, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I never wake up this late, ever. I'm trying to get my life together. All right, you guys, so I'm on my way to go meet Mia, and then we're gonna go get on the boat. I don't know what today has in store. I actually got invited to my first Nigerian wedding today. I just found out I'm half Nigerian myself, so it's lit. Okay, everybody was so sweet. I met up with some of the people last night. Everybody was amazing. So hopefully I can attend today, um, at least the reception, but first, we're going to the boat. This is actually our, my first time on a party boat, so it should be interesting. Hola. All right, you guys. So I just got into the restaurant. We are at this place hey, called Ono. Oh, All right, you guys. So it is the next day. It's Mother's Day today. We just got off the phone with my mom. Love her. Hello. Happy Mother's Day! I am about to just go and chill out by the pool, get some work done. I said my prayers, I meditated this morning. I called my mom, I called my girlfriends that are all mothers. Um, I didn't get to call my Nana. She doesn't have WhatsApp, so I'll have my mom tell her for me. But. So I just finished working. I've been out here for like two hours, y'all. Um, I think I have one more day here, so I'm really just trying to get things going. And yeah. I should check my co-star. Um, I'm kind of in my feels right now. I just did a really good meditation. I think I'm at a point in my life, you know, where I feel like I'm searching to fill this void. And it's not another person. I can feel it. It's me. Like, this is me being at, at I don't want to say at war with myself because it's a beautiful journey. It's not like this, like, no one in this shit right now. I'm not, like, mad. I'm in it. I'm, like trying to learn and make sure I feel all of this and be patient with myself and be kind to myself but then I'm also hyper aware that time is going by we are in a recession time flies so I don't have time I don't feel like I have the time and the luxury to just not be productive I'm uncomfortable as fuck right now to be honest um you know, trying to understand as much as I can without moving backwards. You get me? I've done a lot of progress over the past two months. And it really is just hitting me, you know? 
sucks because you feel like you're alone in this world. You do. And we are. Technically, we really are. But right now, I'm still figuring it out. I'm figuring me out. It's tough. And I think I'm really just emotional. Because it hurts. Heartbreak. I'm happy I'm still being productive though. Don't get it twisted. I'm still getting shit done. But it's like... I don't know. Being here... It's the smell of like humidity and listening to the music and but you always have to stand your ground and know your worth you know you guys so i just ordered my uber it says it'll be here in five minutes honestly i don't know like ladies i mean look y'all this is my healing trip so y'all getting me in ways that I haven't even seen myself. I woke up and I felt like heavy. Like, but mentally, like my brain, everything just felt heavy. And I don't know how. And I think it's because of all the stuff that's in my subconscious. And, you know, I got some air, I worked a little bit. And now I came back inside and I just. I was trying to take it in like slowly but surely but it just hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm like dang I didn't even know I felt like this and it just hit me it hit me so hard and I'm like now I'm like I'm not about to let my day be that you have to learn how to give yourself grace but also know how to pick yourself up because it's like it's a thing it's a thing it's a thing and I and I hope me making these videos Again, I don't know if I'm putting them out or not, but like, this is real, and I'm really feeling like this, and the crazy part is like, I don't know how I'm feeling, part of me feels like empowered because I'm in a place, a foreign place by myself, and I'm killing it in the sense where it's like, I'm happy, but then a part of me feels like a piece of me is missing, and I think I felt that void for so long with the person, so, and not even to my, to my knowing, to my knowledge, and so now... Bitch, get it together, okay? Get it together, girl. <sighs> My Pisces is Piscing, okay? Um, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so fucking amazing. I'm gonna have to be so fucking amazing. Like, life is gonna have to be so fucking amazing. You just gotta go through some shit. I always say you gotta go through some shit to talk about your shit. I'm going through some shit, for sure, for sure, so. I just needed to get up. I needed to get up. I needed to get out. So let's go. Como te llamo? Me llamo Milton. Milton? Sí. You guys know I wasn't having like the best morning. But I think it's so important to step out of your house. Like if you're in your house and you're having like a kind of a shitty day, get yourself up and just, ugh, I am like 100%, 89% much more better. Because look at these, there's flamingos, the sky is beautiful, the melanin is popping, there's ducks back there. Oh, this is amazing.
I am so like life, man. I have to remember like through the bullshit. There's always blessings. I got cheese. <laughs> That sums up how the tonight's gonna go, guys. It's not that bad. It's gluten free. <laughs> we are on our way to a Japanese restaurant. Um, I heard they have vegan options, so we will see. I'm feeling a lot better today or right now. Um, that's one thing about life. We go through motions and you never know what the next hour or the next day or the next, you know, moment has in store for you. So really just hold on tight to everything, you know? I have never heard the three max of Cha Cha Slide. What is happening? Voila. Voila. I hope Casper gets his check. Thing about earlier if you need to if you're ever like feeling down if you ever like oh my god what the fuck is going on in my life how am i about to get out of this or you feel like your head's about the water take a deep breath pray and count your blessings my friends are definitely blessings that i count um my opportunities that god gives me are definitely blessings that i count my love for my family my supporters you guys are definitely blessings that i count so I'm really counting my blessings while I'm here. I'm really, I really am. And I have so much to be grateful for. Wait y'all, this guy just told me I look like Beyonce. Oh, I cannot believe it. Oh my God. I'm telling you. I look I'm like Foxy Cleopatra. I see it. A, isn't that Beyonce? Is that Beyonce? That's Beyonce. Yeah. We lost. Um, okay, see that? What is that? I don't have my glasses on. Oh my god. Where are we? What the fuck is this shortcut? <laughs> yeah, so oh my god. What is it? No, it's those bigger things. <gasps> it's a guinea pig. It's a lot of guinea pigs? Yeah. It's a guinea pig? Yeah, look. Oh my god, look at it. it oh my like god, guinea. they Hi. look like savages. Hi. The fuck? Hi. Hi, this is like G-Force. Hi. Okay, what is that? It's a guinea pig. It's a guinea pig sanctuary. Hey guys, so I literally just woke up like less than 10 minutes ago. And I spent the night with me and T. And we are on our way to brunch. My flight is tomorrow morning. I have to be at the airport at 9 a.m. for us getting some vegan pizza from Bella Napoli. I'll show you guys. It is so good. The people are on Got my vegan pizza. I'm a Miss DR. I really am. Everybody here, the food, the culture, the vibes, so sweet. I'm definitely gonna come back. I feel like this trip was the start of a new beginning. I really do. I don't know what the future holds in store for me, but I really do feel shift is happening. And the fact that I'm even restarting my YouTube, y'all know your girl's been kinda gone for the past like almost two years. So the fact that I'm back on YouTube just shows to me that I am really stepping into a new chapter for real for real. So thank you guys for being a part of my journey. Uh, 
It is currently 11 p.m. I'm watching this Cleopatra documentary rewrite Netflix show and it's funny because I call Egypt a trip I didn't know I needed. If you don't know, I went to Egypt back in August and it was literally a life-changing trip for me. But watching this documentary as I conclude this trip really is like a full circle moment as I lie here by myself in my bed. And, you know, there were strong, strong women who came before us. Women so strong, they built empires, they created systems, they, they left legacies. And I wanna be a part of those women, that group of women. I don't know what legacy I'm gonna leave. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have faith and I'm, I feel like, I feel, I feel it. I don't know y'all, I just feel it. It sparked a new spark in me. And it wasn't an easy trip, it wasn't. I thought I was gonna come here, it would be rainbow and butterflies, but instead God has something else in store for me. This is really a next chapter for me, y'all. This is really a next chapter and I'm really excited for everything I am and everything I'm about to be. I don't know what that is yet, but um, hey, I'm like, it's only up from here. I'm going to bed now. This trip was necessary. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.